everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, this is the Prime 5, however, we actually don't have five stories today. The reason we don't have five stories today is because we're gonna be focusing on a singular thing. Rumors around the Nintendo Direct. Because two particular rumors landed today, both going in opposite directions, but we're here to set the record straight. Oh boy, guys, we actually might know when the Direct is happening. Are you guys ready? Buckle in and let's get into the news. Now our only story today deals with the Direct, but I do want to throw a couple other things out there. Some stuff that was going to be in a standard Prime 5 episode for starters. I want to remind you guys that Splatoon 3 is launching tomorrow. I personally have bought the digital version of the game, so it's already preloaded and ready to go on my Switch. We will be live streaming it tomorrow night. Uh, that's right, we're doing a launch stream special for Splatoon 3. So that's going to be really exciting. Who knows? Maybe we end up streaming it during the day as well. I don't know. I guess we'll kind of play it by ear and see how that goes. We do need to get our Prime 5 out tomorrow. I wanted to talk a bit about the Persona game coming to Switch. It actually comes in at 12.5 gigabytes, which is three times smaller than it is on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So that's really cool. It's nice to see them condense it. There's going to be all these reasons that, that this possibly have happened. It's all speculative at this point. But let's get into the big stories, the brux of what we're talking about today. And that is the Nintendo Direct because Mike... Minotti, Jeff Grubb, and others started a panic today. And they started the, a panic because they said they were worried the Nintendo Direct would be delayed. They did a podcast on it today, and these have been sources for information on the Direct. In particular, Jeff Grubb and Mike Minotti were the ones telling us that the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD were for sure happening in the Nintendo Direct this month. Jeff Grubb also saying the Direct was going to happen next week. Jeff Grubb also intimating at least that we would get breath of the wild 2 as well so when they say stuff like this people tend to pay attention and it becomes this big rumor and it caused a tizzy in the nintendo community now you might go why would nintendo delay to the direct well unless you've been living under a rock today and haven't been anywhere on the internet at least let alone out in the world queen elizabeth ii has passed away in the uk may she rest in peace and i wish nothing but the best for the royal family and Everyone that the royal family impacts. Clearly, I live in the United States, so I don't understand the impact of the royal family over here. But, hey, I do wish nothing but the best. But here's the thing. They suggested that Nintendo might delay the Direct. Literally in the middle of today, around noon or so. They suggested that Nintendo might delay the Direct a week because of the Queen's passing. Now, Nintendo has delayed Directs in the past due to world events. The most recent one was when there was an earthquake that landed in Japan. They delayed the Direct a week. This was, you know, a little bit ago now at this point. So Nintendo's not adverse to delaying Directs a week. But that Direct was announced already. So <laughs> there was that as well. This Direct wasn't announced. But I actually want to throw out there why that this doesn't matter. One, they were just speculating. So let's just start there. It was just speculation. This wasn't because they heard anything. And two, to further they haven't heard anything, the people that could make the decisions on delaying a Direct are J Nintendo of Japan. And at the time they started talking about this at noon, it was 2 a.m. in Japan. So needless to say, it's highly, highly, highly doubtful that they had made that decision at that time. Now, beyond all of that, just to give some background on this, the Queen's passing already was planned for. Succession's already in place, so there's no debate over succession, even though there's the article saying, oh, who succeeds the Queen? How does it go? You'll see, like, a map of all the royal family. Like, it doesn't really matter. That's all taken care of. That's already been pre-decided. Also, she already put out there uh, a long time ago that when she died, she wanted her funeral to be nine days later, so her funeral is going to end up being on September 17th. So, again, that doesn't get in the way of a direct as well. Also, the UK, whether we like to believe it or not, is not the largest market, not even in the top three of the largest markets for Nintendo. So, yeah, it, this sort of thing wouldn't impact that anyways. And the UK government and everything else was already prepared. This isn't a surprising thing. They've been prepared for this for almost 15 years. So, at this point, it's highly doubtful that this is going to impact Nintendo. Some of you guys are, feel, are free to think that, but I want to provide you the other side of the spectrum because Nate the Hate... Some of you guys love him. Some of you guys hate him. I'm not here to tell you how to feel about Nate the Hate, Nate Drake, Direct Feed Games. But 
<laughs> about two hours ago. So this was after uh, you know Jeff Grubb and, and Mike Miotti were kind of speculating on if Nintendo would delay the Direct. He responded to a comment on Twitter about the Direct, and it was somebody saying, hey, would Nintendo consider doing a Direct on the 12th? which would be a Monday. Nintendo doesn't really do stuff on Monday. That'd be really weird, right? And he responded and said, no, Nintendo's announcing the Direct on Monday. This is the very first time any quote-unquote Nintendo insider has stated out loud, hey, Nintendo's announcing the Direct on Monday. So if it happens, credit to Nate Drake for that. Also, that would, that would basically suggest the Direct is happening on Tuesday, the 13th. So I wanted to you know, start with the bad and the speculation and, and the logic that I think it's not really going to matter. And then also get into the last bit of news on it. And that is that, hey, the Nintendo Direct's happening on the 13th. Supposedly. This is a rumor. Have your shadows of doubt. Have you know your skepticism and your, your radar going like this. Paying lots of attention. But at this time, on Thursday, September 8th, I am proud to tell you that the current rumors have Nintendo Direct... Next Tuesday, announcement coming on Monday. Oh, boy. I can already feel my Zelda senses tingling over here. And yes, that's a double entendre because we kind of can tingle into the mix over here. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel RoboJazz from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. We'll be back with a standard Prime 5 video tomorrow because we won't have, I don't think anyways, such big direct type of news to talk about uh maybe more to talk about with the direct but on a smaller scale all right folks thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next video